Hello everyone, Ian here at Able City in Burbank, and today I am checking out Airy Wireless Accessories. I'm going to take the WCU4, the handset here, and I'm going to work with the Alexa SXT Plus. Now that plus designation on Alexa means that the electronics are built in for the wireless communication to the lens. So you can see that I have a iris and a focus motor hooked up through these cables, and they're going to the CLM4 motors on my Master Prime here and I want to show you how connectivity with a master prime works and also how it will work with an ultra prime now there's two generations of ultra prime lenses one is LDS one is not the LDS connection sends information about settings on the lens back to the camera that also gets recorded as metadata uh, here we're going to take advantage of LDS to populate our handset and then I'm going to show you how to do it with a non LDS lens I've installed my uh, Master Prime onto the SXT, but before uh, I start working with the lens, I want to show you uh, the menus on the SXT for wireless operations. So we have a wireless button here. I'm going to push that. And first thing I want to do is I want to go into my radio menu and I need to turn it on. And we're going to use channel four here. That's the uh, channel I have uh, turned on on the WCU4. So we're all set with that. And I have now turned it on. So at this point, uh, during the startup cycle of the SXT, I didn't have these plugged into the ports for the motors. So it has not asked me to uh, do a lens calibration. It will detect the motors or detect the cables for the motors during startup. But notice that we do have a little icon right here noting that the wireless has turned on. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to power down the camera, I'll power it back up, and then you will see uh, the uh, calibration menu come up on screen. So I'm going to power down. And we'll power back up. All right, so you can see that during the startup sequence, it detected the cables uh, that are connected to my uh, CLM4 motors. So now it's asking for a calibration. But before I do that, I'm gonna go out to a wider shot and I wanna show you what's happening with the WCU4 as well. So in order to get the data from the lens over to my handset, I need to turn on uh, the data menu in the plus. So to do that, I'm going to go to my wireless menu. Notice it says no LDS because I have not turned on the menus yet for it to read the data from the lens. So I'm going to open this menu, go to LDA, and I'm going to add. And here you can see this is a list of lenses that Airy has uh, loaded into the camera. We're using a master prime. So here's our master prime. And I am using a 75 mil. And then it has this main LDA. And what this grouping of letters represents is there are different focus rings that are manufactured for master primes. There's also different rings that are manufactured for the ultra primes. And this helps to uh, sort of streamline the manufacturing process of the lenses. I know that this particular lens that we're going to use has a designation of KLKL. So once I designate that in the camera, now it knows uh, which focus ring has been uh, used to assemble this lens. So I'm going to hit use. And now we're going to go over to the WCU4 and make sure that all our data lines up properly. All right, so we have now loaded the file into the camera. And as soon as I loaded that data, it now auto-populated my screen of my WCU4. And so just so you can see, you can uh, see that I have the uh, focal length of the lens right here. Uh, and I have my iris settings over there. 
There are additional functionalities built into this. For example, I can go into the camera menu and now it gives me a quick synopsis of all the settings uh, in the camera. And if I go to the setup menu, it now will allow me to go in and change the most frequently used, well, arguably the most frequently changed parameters of the camera. So that would be frame rate, shutter angle, exposure, uh, and your white balance. Uh, so it allows you to go in and do a lot of things hands-free uh, that we traditionally would have to go into camera menus to do. And last but not least, let's go home. And let's just uh, confirm that our focus marks are on. So I'm going to set this for seven feet. So we've got seven feet on all our scalings here. Let's rack focus over to the camera. And you can see we have seven feet on our data on the LCD screen and our lens is at seven feet. We have everything calibrated and I want to show you uh, some of the benefits of the LDS system uh, working with this SXT. At the bottom here I have a wireless button so I'm going to push that one time and when I do that notice in the upper uh, right hand corner I have uh, lens data so I'm going to activate that and when I do that, notice that I have the stop, I have the focal length, I have my current focus, a Zeiss Master Prime uh, T13. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to, let's change the focus to five feet. Great. So I'm going to open up my iris all the way. Well, actually open up. There we go. And now notice what the focus uh, range of focus is from five feet. It's five feet, one inch, four feet, 11. So very shallow depth of focus, but maybe I want to, let's say, let's go up to a five, six on my T-stop. There we go. And now notice that it shows me a new range of focus. So four feet, eight inches to five, five. So it's just another one of those options that has been built into it uh, to make it incredibly helpful uh, for a first assistant to let an operator, let a director know how much uh, range of focus we have for a given stop and a given focal length. And this information is carried over in the display of the uh, WCU-4. It's going to be a graphic bar that increases or decreases according to the T-stop set for the lens. I've put a 100 millimeter ultra prime. This is a non-LDS lens onto the camera. So we're not going to get the LDS communication from the lens this time. So we're going to go into our uh, just so we remember how we got here. Uh, we're going to go to our wireless menu. There's no data here. Go to our data screen. Go to LDA and we're going to add. And now we're going to look for Ultra Prime. And here's our Ultra Prime right here. Just so you know, there is a designation of LDS Ultra Prime because uh, there has been a series of Ultra Primes manufactured with the LDS built in, but the most common ones that you're going to find are these, the Ultra Primes without LDS. So I'm going to go in and choose my 100 millimeter. And again, I'm going to go in here and I have to choose which focus ring I have. And we have a G series. I'm going to select that. And so we're going to use that. And now uh, we're going to go back to our handset and we're going to confirm that all our data is correct. So we've loaded the file in the SXT Plus and you can see that my WCU4 has now auto-populated and it is showing me my focal length. My focus will confirm that in one second. It's populated my T-stops. And I can also go into the camera menu here and I can see a synopsis of uh, what the settings are. And I could also go into the setup, change something, uh, change a parameter listed in these menus. And I also have the ability to go into my monitor outputs and change the attributes there. So let's go home. And I just want to confirm, okay, we have five feet here. Let's uh, rack focus over to the camera. And you can see that we have five feet on our uh, LDS display in the LCD and the lens is giving us a verification of five feet. That wraps up my look at the interface of the WCU-4 with the Alexa SXT+. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon.